Before we get started with our dissections, we need to make sure that we're safe. So make sure you have gloves, lab coats, and goggles. To start the dissection, get your pig and put it on your surface. This is the same pig that we've already worked on, and we will continue to work on it. Now, we are going to remove the top of the skull in order to expose the brain. There are different ways to do this. You could use a scalpel to come along the brain and cut through the bone. The bone's not as hard and ossified as adult bones would be, so they're, and they're much thinner, so they're a little easier to cut through. But if that shows to be tedious, you could use scissors, pierce a hole, and also cut through. But I'm going to use bone shears. Bone shears are very useful. They make the job quicker. You just have to be careful with their use because if you use them incorrectly and push too deep into the brain, you could cause a damage inside the brain itself. So we're going to take a point of our bone shears and we're going to cause, make sure that our hand is a safe distance away. We're going to cause for a little incision inside that skull and then we're just going to snip. And we're going to com continue that process, like using the scissors, over and over, until we have all the skull, top of the skull, removed. Now, if we freed it up enough, we should be able to peel off that skull while leaving the brain behind. Now, potentially, if we listen close enough, we could hear that break away from the dura mater. This outer coating here of the brain is the dura mater. You can see how that's peeling off right there. Duramata is intact. Now, take our bone shoes and put them away, and we can bring out our scalpel and cut between the brain and the skull, the sides of the skull, and gently separate out the brain from, in this case, up front the olfactory nerves and then in the back we need to free it up from the spinal cord Okay, so now brains have been removed, you can see up front where we would have our olfactory nerves feed in through the cribriform plate, and in the back we can see where the magnum foramen and the brain stem would then leave the cranium to go into the spinal cord. 
can now put our pig aside and just look at the brain. Now, you can get preserved brains, which will look a lot nicer, especially underneath. But since we already have our pig, why put it to waste? See these stringy materials that are stretching away from the dura mater in the brain? That's going to be the arachnoid. You can peel that dura mater all the way off there. Now, on the superior part of the brain, what we see is the longitudinal fissure frontal lobe. Here would then be the temporal lobe. Most of this upper region is going to be the parietal. And then in the back we'll have our occipital along with this structure here which is going to be your cerebellum. So what I want to do is take your scalpel and go right along that longitudinal fissure and cut it as gently as possible all the way in half. A really nice structure that we can see here is inside the cerebellum you get this really nice looking arbre vitae. These little white tree-like structures that are branching. And then in the center of the brain we have this region which is the diencephalon which will then be the, made up of the thalamus the hypothalamus. We also have this opening here. It's going to be the third ventricle, which will then lead into the lateral ventricles. And just below, get this a little closer, we have the corpus callosum which will be the tract connection between the two hemispheres of the brain. Now, let's cut just anteriorly to the diencephalon all the way through the brain, and this should give us a good image of how deep that lateral ventricle goes. So you can really see that showing up there, really deep down into the brain in order to allow cerebral spinal fluid to flow through the brain around and into the brain. It's a really nice structure there. And then of course diencephalon leads into the brain stem here which will be made up of midbrain, this bulbous region right there which is the pons, and then the medulla oblongata off the back. we see these really nice gyri, these bumps in the brain, and then these really nice deep uh, sulci, these crevices within the brain. More folding within the brain gets us a quicker connection speed of the neurons interacting together. That's a really nice looking brain there. Then clean up and put your pig away.